Okay, now here's the weird thing about this situation. Yesterday, we did make a video talking about Calgary Flames defenseman Nikita Zadorov and the updates as to which teams are in, which teams are out. We talked about how one team, the Winnipeg Jets, was already apparently rejected from this entire trade request ordeal that he's got. And we also talked about the teams that Zadorov would apparently want to go to the most. The Toronto Maple Leafs, the New Jersey Devils, and then there was a comment made about him liking the beach. And so we kind of concluded, hey, because Vancouver's got a lot of beaches, why not there? Especially since the Canucks are apparently going to be a front runner for his services anyway in this pursuit for Zadorov. But in this video, what I wanted to do was talk about one of the more interesting aspects to this entire story. It's one that I don't even know if it's actually, like, correct. Is this technically tampering? I'm not too sure. You can be the judge of that. But, as we did talk about yesterday, the Toronto Maple Leafs are indeed one of these teams that Zadorov would apparently like to go to. They have a pretty okay decor, but if you get a guy like Zadorov, there is an added layer of stability there. He's big, he can score points, he's a pretty versatile player, all things considered. Definitely not the most safe and secure player, but definitely somebody who, on most nights, would provide positive value. He's a leader, he's outspoken, he is a well-liked and respected Calgary Flame on this team. And the Toronto Maple Leafs being involved is not surprising to anybody, especially when you consider how Brad Trilliving has literally done this before. He was the guy that got Sadorov in Calgary in the first place. So if there's anybody that knows what this player is about, it's probably the Leafs GM at the moment, and that probably gives him most of the rights to go out there and talk about him again. But today's video and our little conversation about tampering comes to us in the form of a comment made by Elliot Friedman and Jeff Merrick on the recent 32 Thoughts podcast. Now, to help us out, we're going over onto this article published by Adam Lascaris from yesterday, November 13th, on DailyHive.com. The Leafs players apparently courted Calgary Flames Nikita Zadorov on the ice during their latest matchup. Here is the report. The article cites the recent 32 Thoughts podcast, and according to Elliot Friedman, Toronto players might have taken matters into their own hands when the two teams faced off on Friday, so last week. The word going around on Sunday night is that one Maple Leaf player said to Zadorov on the ice that you're exactly what we need, Friedman said on the 32 Thoughts podcast episode. And that in itself is a really small thing. But it was reported, and it was talked about in an article, which is why I wanted to make this video here and sort of ask the question. Is this technically tampering? I know most of y'all, your immediate conclusion would have been, okay, no, that's not. But like, do you kind of get the train of thought that I'm on here? Do you kind of understand why I'm even bringing this up? Because NHL teams are not allowed to negotiate with free agents to be before the free agent period opens up. That's technically tampering. You're not allowed to talk to, I don't know, name a big UFA coming to be next offseason. Um, William Nylander. You can't talk to William Nylander right now and negotiate a contract with him right now. If you're not the Toronto Maple Leafs, that's not allowed. And conversely, you're not allowed to do a few other things. There are some other rules that bend and twist the legal procedures within the NHL. We've seen teams in the past get fined for tampering. We have seen guys like Jim Benning for the Vancouver Canucks make a few comments that were a little bit too revealing as to what the Canucks' plans were and end up getting a slap on the wrist for tampering. Is this, though, technically in that same bubble? Because you could say it's definitely not. Like, hey, one NHL player talking to another NHL player trying to convince him to come to his team... That's not really a managerial thing, you know? It's not like the GM is going out there and talking to the opposing player in the locker room saying, hey, we need you, we're trying to trade for you. Like, that's not really the same. But at the same time, because the Toronto Maple Leafs have indeed been involved in Nikita Zadorov trade talks, it was interesting enough to bring up on the 32 Thoughts pod, and Jeff Merrick even goes out there and tries to press Friedman to reveal the mystery player. Friedman then admits that he actually isn't quite sure of the source of the news. The rest of this article then goes over some of the other things, the Saturday headlines on Hockey Night in Canada, where Friedman said the Canucks and Leafs are both teams who have high interest in acquiring Zadorov or Tanev. There are a few other comments about how the Leafs are going to hit the ice on Monday for their last practice in North America before they take to Sweden. Yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing those Swedish games go down. 
But Nikita Zadorov is indeed still the guy that I think is taking up most of the headlines in regards to the Maple Leafs right now. And he's not even a Maple Leaf. Everybody's talking about the, oh, Nikita Zadorov trade. What could the Leafs give up? Do they really need this guy? Where could he slot in the lineup if the Leafs get him? All this hypothetical stuff, which is very clear to see why it happens. I mean, Maple Leafs fans are curious. They want to see what a new guy could bring to this team because with such diehard fans in Toronto like you've got, it's not surprising that every inch, every Every crevice of possibility is something that they want to explore. But this as well, the idea of the Maple Leafs players themselves talking to Zadorov on the ice and saying, yeah, we gotta get you, like we're trying to trade for you, man. That also adds another element that I think hasn't really been too present in any of the other trade conversations that we've had over the past few years. We didn't have LA Kings guys going over to PLD telling him on the ice, yeah, we're trying to trade for you. We need to get you, man. This is exactly what we need. We didn't have New York Rangers players telling Patrick Kane the same thing when the Rangers and the Blackhawks would be playing against each other. We didn't have all the trade deadline acquisition players get told by opposing players on opposite teams that, hey, we're trying to get you. Like, this is so specific, and I don't think I've ever seen this happen before, that the fact that it is brought up does kind of get my spidey senses tingling a little bit. Is this technically not something that we should be talking about? Are there any sort of legal rulings that would make this sort of a thing taboo? It's not technically tampering, but is it? I mean, Elliot Friedman went out there and reported it, so that's kind of why I wanted to talk about it in this video here. But if you are a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about your players already straight up telling the Calgary Flames defenseman Nikita Zadorov himself that he is a valued trade piece for this Toronto team? What are your thoughts on the way that conversation might have occurred? What are your thoughts on the fact that we know about this conversation? Like, I'm sure NHL players banter within themselves all the time. It's a social sport, it's a very communicative sport, and you've got guys chirping each other left, right, and center every second of the game. So, there are bound to be some things that sort of cross those boundaries over the past few years, but... We never really hear about them. Until now. Friedman doesn't even know where the source came from, so it's kind of interesting because I mean, if Friedman has multiple players or multiple coaches on his contact list as sources, then maybe there were several people that might have reached out. Maybe there are too many people that could have been the one that reached out, therefore he doesn't really know. There's a lot of possibility here, but I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did the Toronto Maple Leafs end up, by proxy, executing some sort of tampering by telling Nikita Zadorov on the ice on Friday hey, we need you. We're trying to trade for you. You are what we need on this hockey team in the blue and white. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think this is tampering? Do you think this is not? Do you think this is okay? Do you think this video was even appropriate to make in the first place? Because I definitely thought this was an intriguing enough thing to talk about. Links are going to be in the description if you want to go ahead and listen to the 32 Thoughts podcast episode, as well as read the article on Daily Hive. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.